Hi, this is Jessica Hagman with The Ohio University Libraries, and in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of the citation management tool Zotero, and this is what we would cover in one of our basics workshops in the library. Here's an overview of what I'll be covering in this video. The links that you see should be clickable to take you to a specific section of the video. So if you've already got Zotero installed, for example, you could move on to the next section about adding citations. You have two options for installing Zotero on your computer, both of which you can access from the Download Now button on the Zotero website. Your first option is to install it as an extension for Firefox, and then that's all you need to do in order to use it. Your second option is to use the standalone version, in which case you would need to install a browser connector to Chrome, Firefox, or Safari so that you can send information from your browser to Zotero. The most common way to get citation information into Zotero is via the web browser. Whenever you're on a web page that has citation information, Zotero will recognize it and show you an icon in your address bar that tells you there is information available. In this case, I'm in Articles Plus looking at an article, so there's a small page icon. When you click on the icon, you should then see a small pop-up window in the lower right-hand corner of your browser indicating that the information is being added to Zotero and which folder it's going to. This method will work on lots of different kinds of websites, including library catalogs like Alice, journal article websites such as Taylor & Francis or other publishers, and then also on newspaper websites, on Amazon, on YouTube, lots of different kinds of websites will have metadata that Zotero can recognize. You can also add PDF files to Zotero and ask it to look for citation information for you. This is really useful if you have a lot of PDF files on your computer that don't have um, descriptive names. So here I have an example where I have lots of PDF files saved on my computer. and I've dragged and dropped them into Zotero. Once they are there, you can select and then right click on the files and say retrieve metadata for PDFs. Zotero will look for a DOI number or a um, other article information and try to identify a citation that goes with it. So you can see all the check marks are articles that it was able to find a citation. Once it's found a citation, it will attach that PDF to it. I know that some of you may be making the transition from RefWorks to Zotero, um, in which case you'll want to transfer those citations directly from RefWorks to Zotero. We have another video on the library's YouTube channel that shows you how to do this, um, so you should be able to just click on this link and go directly to that video, and that will show you just how to import from RefWorks into Zotero. Of course, if you have any problems or questions about that, feel free to get in touch with us. Once you have citation information into Zotero, you can edit it however you need. Um, in this case, I'm using the transform text tool to change the title of this article into sentence case rather than title case. You can also change any other kind of information that is listed here. So if maybe the issue number wasn't needed, you could delete that. If it gave you the month and the year for the date, you could delete that as you needed. You could add information or whatever you need to do to make sure that the data is correct. Another way that you might want to edit your data is by adding attachments to files if they haven't come with them automatically. You can drag and drop files directly onto a citation to attach it, or you can right click and say uh, add attachment. You do have a couple of options here. If you want the files to be accessible on any computer in which you've installed and connected to Zotero, then you'll want to choose attach stored copy of file. If you want that file only to be available on this one computer, then you would use one of the other options. Another option you'll see if you right-click on a citation is the ability to add a note, and this will just attach a note of whatever information you need to this particular file. Once you do that, you'll have an option on the right-hand side to type in your notes. Once you have items in your Zotero library, you can organize them into collections and subcollections. If you right-click on a collection, you should have the option to add a sub-collection, and you can go many layers deep on this. Once you have a sub-collection named whatever you like, then you can drag and drop items into that sub-collection. An item can be in as many sub-collections as you like, and as you edit it in one collection, so you fix the title like I have in that one community, if I change the capitalization, it should change in all of the other collections that that item is in.
The benefit of collecting items into Zotero is that you can then have it create citations for you as you're writing your papers or projects. The easiest way to do this is to drag and drop a citation directly from Zotero into wherever you're writing. In this case, I'm writing in a Google Drive document and I can just drag and drop to create a citation here. This citation is showing as APA because that's how I have set as my default output format. If you use a drag and drop, the citation format will be whatever your default is. To change the default, go into your preferences, click on export, and then choose another citation setting. Then when you drag and drop again, it should use that new format. In this case, I was drag and dropping to create a bibliography. Um, if you'd like to use the drag and drop to create an in-text citation, instead of just using the drag and drop, hold down the shift key as you drag a citation from Zotero into your writing environment. When you do this, you should see an in-text entry appear instead of a full work cited or bibliography entry. Another option for creating citations with Zotero is through the Microsoft Word add-in, which um, should come installed when you install Zotero. If not, you can also find it on the Zotero website. The value of this option is that it will let you insert in-text citations and then create a bibliography based on those citations, but it will also let you change the format. So if you thought you might be writing a paper for a class, for example, in one format, and then need to submit it elsewhere in another format, such as APA or MLA, you can change the format with this option. To use this tool, you will go to the add-ins option on your Word, um, for, Word program. When you go to add a citation, clicking the first small icon, you should get a search bar where you can then search for citations that are in your Zotero library. When you click enter, you should then see those citations inserted into your document. Then you can click the third icon and that will add a bibliography for all of those items that you've added in text. You can edit the way that the in-text citations look. So in this case, I have the author's name already in the text, so I don't need to repeat it for an APA citation. So I search for the author's name and then I can check the box to say suppress author. On that drop-down menu, I also had the option to add a page number if you were quoting an APA, or if you wanted to add text before or after the citation. If you wanted to change the format of this bibliography, you would go back to the add-in tools, and then choose the option to change document preferences. And this should show you what your default citation style is set as, um, and you can change the style, and then it should update automatically, or you can use the refresh option, and that should update all of your citations to be in a new format. This has been an overview of the basics of Zotero and hopefully it's helped you to get started using Zotero in your research and writing workflow. If you have more questions about Zotero, please visit the library website at the link listed here where you can find more information and documentation about Zotero. You can also feel free to get in touch with your subject librarian who can sit down with you and tell you more about Zotero on your personal device.